Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make another Minecraft skin statue. This time, it's going to be the giant panda skin from the Battle and Beasts 2 skin pack that was released on the Xbox 360. There he is, just giving him a bit of a spin there. And this was actually a request. I'm pretty happy that I got it because I've been flicking through the skin pack and there's some really cool designs. I have a feeling I'm going to be making more than one of these. I'm particularly fond of the fox one there. But anyway, if you want to make the panda, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need black wool, dark grey, light grey, white wool, pink. And they're all the colours that you're actually going to need. He doesn't use very many whatsoever, so you might also want to drag a bed out. Because we'll probably be needing that later on. So once you have your colours, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to make him right here. You're going to want to start off with eight dark grey wool on the floor in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you just want to do another row of that on top of uh, the pre-existing row. So you want to have two rows of eight dark grey. Then for the next row, you want to do two black in the middle. Then you want to do a single dark grey on either side. And then you just want to fill the rest of the row in with black. Then, what you want to do for the next row is on each end, you want to do two dark grey going up, like that, like on the very ends. Then you just want to fill the rest of the rows in with, uh, with black. Then, what you want to do is, you can see where we have the little single dark greys here. Well, we want to, in the same position, do two dark grey going up for the next two rows, like that. And then you can proceed to fill the rest of the row in with black. Hopefully a lot better than I'm managing. There we go. Then, what you want to do for the next two rows, they just want to be entirely black. So, just mark those out, that's one row, and that's the second row. Then, what you want to do for the last row here, you want to do, from left to right, just because it'll be easier this way, you want to do one dark grey, one black, one dark grey, two black, one dark grey, one black, one dark grey. There you go. And the reason that I said that was the last row, it's the last dark row of the legs. Legs are usually 12 blocks high, unless I make them. Um, so, they're 10 knocked out there. Then we've uh, got two rows of light, um, of light colours, rather than the black. So, you know... Pause that if you have to, make sure you've got those right. Now let's add in the uh, let's add in the next part. So you can see here, like the single black that's closest to the end on the previous row, just stick a white on top there, and then just fill the rest of the row in with light grey, like that. Then for the next row, just sink uh just sink. Just stick a single light grey on uh, each end of the row, and then just throw white in the middle. And they're actually the legs, like uh, that's what you classify as the legs, that's all of the rows taken care of there. And what we're going to do now is, the next 7 or 8 rows or so, it's going to be much easier for me to just uh, do them in like a left to right fashion, just like calling out the blocks, rather than trying to do them in any, any other way, because I'll just end up like tripping over myself, like just uh, babbling needlessly. So, what you want to do for the next row, and this is, like I said, how the next 7 or so are going to go, Two white, one uh, one light grey, three white, one light grey, one white. Next row, two white, two light grey, two white, two light grey. Next row, you want to do one white, one light grey, one white, two light grey, two white, one light grey. What you want to do for the next row, you want to do one white, one light grey, two white, one light grey, three white. Oh, come on. I keep frightening to get a wired controller. And, uh, like I said, three white, so that just goes right to the end there. Let me just give you a bit of a still of that since the controller cut out. I, s I keep frightening to get the wired one, but my last one broke, so it kind of puts me off of it, you know? Anyway. What you want to do for the next row, still continuing with the left to right fashion, you want to do one light grey, four white, one, two, three, four, one light grey, two white. Next row, you want to do one light grey, two white, one light grey, one white, one light grey, two white. 
What you want to do for the next row, you want to do two white, two light grey, two white, two light grey. There we are. And this is probably the final row that I'll be doing, uh, doing it like this. What you want to do for this row is you want to do two white. Oh, come on. I swear, if it, if it happens again, I'm going to have to just get the tape out again. I keep taking it off. I, you don't want to hear about this, but you did two white, one light grey, two dark grey, rest uh, light grey. So let me get, again, since the controller cut out, I swear, I think I might go, just go and get one today. You want to um, you want to have something that looks like that. And that's not the entire torso, by the way. We've still got, a, uh, we've still got four or so more rows to do, but there you have it. Pause that if you have to. Let's move on. So what you want to do now is, you want to, for the next row, stick a single white on each end of the row. And then, going inwards, you just want to do a single dark grey. And then fill the rest of the row in with black. Then, for the next row, you want to stick a single dark grey on the left side. And you want to stick a single light grey on the right side. And then just fill the rest of the row in. Then... For the next row, you want to do two white in the center of the row, light gray either side, and then you just want to do black in the uh, last two spaces either side. Then what you want to do for the next row, you want to do a single black on each end, then you want to do a light gray coming in, and then you just want to fill the rest of the row in with white, like that. So. There you go, that's just the little top portion we've done. I've already shown you the bottom portion, so I'm just going to show you it all together, and then we're going to work on the arms. So, there you have it. That's the legs and torso done. Uh, pause that if you have to. Let's move on to the arms. So I'm going to move on to the right arm. That's where I like to start, the right arm. And the right arm, looking at this, remember how I said that uh, legs are 12 blocks? So that makes it here. So you can see on the right side where there's a single sticky out white block. You want to take out your dark grey and you want to extend it out by four. Like going outwards. And how I like to make these is I like to work from out to in. Kind of like how I did with some, uh, some rows of the torso like calling out the blocks. I like to do a similar thing with the arms. So you've got your first row here. Your second row wants to be this. It wants to be one dark grey, one black. Two dark grey. You can see how I'm doing this from out to in. Next row wants to be three black, one dark grey. Next row wants to be a repeat, three black, one dark grey. Next row wants to be one dark grey, three black. Next row one dark grey, three black. Next row two black, one dark grey, one black. Let me just show you a little bit of what we've done there. Because uh, I feel as though I was doing that quite fast. There you go. Next row wants to be a repeat of the last row. So two black, one dark grey, one black. Uh, the next two rows are completely black. So one, two. Next row, one black, one dark grey, two black. Next row is a repeat of the previous. One black, one dark grey, two black. And let me just show you the arm there. There you go. Nothing too complicated. You're just working with four blocks. So the other arm, which is what we're moving on to, is in the exact same position, just on the other side. And it is just a mirror image of the other arm. So I'm going to be doing this a little faster, but I will be making it with you. So in the same position, just uh, two blocks, well, like one block above where the legs finish. So here, where the white starts, you want to do four dark grey coming out. And then in a similar fashion to how I did the other, out to end. One dark grey, one black, two dark grey. And like I said, I'm going to be doing this a little faster. Three black, one dark grey. Three black, one dark grey. One dark grey, three black. One dark grey, three black. Two black, one dark grey, one black. Two black, one dark grey, one black. Two rows of black. One black, one dark grey, two black. One black, one dark grey, two black. And there you have it, that's the other arm. The reason that I did that a little faster, like I said, it is just a mirror image, as you can see with them both together now. If you did the one arm, you can quite easily figure out the other arm. Or at least I hope you can. Uh, but there you go, that's the entire front part of, uh, of our great panda, or giant panda. 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it 3D and actually it's getting a bit dark so what I'm going to do before I have to uh, before I have to sleep I'm gonna cut it out here and come back when the sunlight's out all right so here he is and like I said it's now time to make it 3D so how we do this we come to the side of the statue we come to either side of it it doesn't matter we've got to do it on both sides and from the end block, we bring it back three rows, and we're going to be using dark grey, so one, two, three, and on the other side as well, one, two, three. Then, what we want to do, we're behind the statue, and we want to connect those two blocks together. So, you want to do one black coming in towards the centre, and then the rest wants to be dark grey. And if you have that, you can see that we're just building up the, um, we've just built our foundation for the back of the statue. And that's how I like to do these. I like to ignore the head, just do the entire front, make them 3D, do the back, do the sides, then do the head. That's how I like to make these. And that's exactly how we're going to be doing it. So, we have our first row here, and we're just going to be building up the back and ignoring the sides for now. So the next row just wants to be two dark grey in the centre, and then the rest wants to be black. You can see how I'm doing this. Then, the next row wants to be two black in the center, then you want to do just a single dark gray coming out towards the ends, and then you just want to fill the rest of the row in with black, giving you something that looks like that. Then the next row is just a repeat of that one, so just do um, just do everything you did on the previous row, and, uh, and you should be fine. There you go, that's what it should look like. Then the next two rows are entirely black, so mark those out, one, two, and then one and two. There you go. Then what you want to do for the next row, it's um, it's similar to it's pretty much that row like the last row of uh, on the front side, but um, you know uh, dark grey on either end, just a single one. And then in the same position as the dark grey that you can see there. Just want to play start great. Yeah, I have a feeling that explanation is confusing, but it's more than easy enough to see um, to see what I've done there. So there you go. Pause that if you have to. Uh, what you want to do now is you want to do a single dark grey on each end, and then fill the middle section in with black. Then the next row wants to be entirely dark grey. Then. The next row, you want to, this is where uh, things get a little tricky, so we're going to do a left to right thing again. So, just calling them out from left to right. One dark grey, one white, one light grey, two white, one light grey, one white, one dark grey. See what I mean? Slightly tricky, that one. What you want to do for the next row, you just want to position two white in the centre of the row, and then just do light grey either side to finish off the row. Then, what you want to do for the next row, you just want to do a single light grey either side, and then fill the middle of the row in with white. And there we go, that's the entire back of the legs there. It's uh, it's cool how they've uh, they've actually put quite a lot of detail in these, like even even the sides, which are usually like fairly detailless. If the sides, they're usually quite plain. The back is usually, you know, not as good as the front, but all around, like even the back of the arms are different. And you can see that in the back of the legs. A lot of design went into them. But anyway, um, they're the back of the legs. Pause that if you have to. Let's move on to the back. So, what you want to do? We're going to... Yeah, this is probably going to be easy. Again, we're going to do left to right, and this is probably going to be the next seven or eight rows, because the back is just as complicated as the front. So, like I said, from left to right, you want to do three white, then you want to do two black, then you want to do one white, one light grey, one white. Next row is pretty much a repeat of that row, so just do three white, two black, one white, one light grey, one white, there we go. Then, for the next row, you want to do one uh, one white, one light grey, one white, one light grey, rest white. Then, what you want to do for the next row, you want to do two light grey, four white, one, two, three, four, um, one light grey, one white. 
Then what you want to do for the next row, you want to do one light grey, one white, one light grey, two white, two light grey, one white. Then what you want to do for the next row is you want to do two white, one light grey, two white, one light grey, one white, one light grey. Then what you want to do for the next row is you want to do one white, three light grey, one white, three light grey. Then what you want to do for the next row, you want to do, uh, da -da -da, hang on, I've kind of lost my place in. Uh, you want to do one dark grey, three light grey, one white, two light grey, one dark grey. It's kind of easy to uh, get confused looking at it. Alright, for the next row, you want to do one dark grey, two light grey, two white, two light grey, one dark grey. And for the next row, what you want to do is, you want to do one black, two dark grey, two white, two dark grey, one black. Then, for the next row, you just want to place two dark grey in the centre, and then you just want to fill the rest of the row in with black. And then the next row is just entirely black, and then we've done the entire back. Let me just show you all of the back in its glory. There you go. Like I said, quite complicated. Quite a lot of pattern in there. Uh, let me give you a bit of a closer view. Let me get the whole back in there where it starts. There. Cool. So, pause that if you have to. Make sure you've got that all right. I know it's quite complicated. We're going to move on to the back of the arms. So, the back of the arms aren't vastly different uh, from the front, but they're different enough for me to uh, show you how to do them. So, what you want to do, you want to take out your dark grey, and I'm starting with the left arm, but again, it doesn't matter, they're, they're like mirror images of each other. And you want to find the position of the, uh, like on the front, uh, front of the arm, and it starts in the same place on the back, obviously. And just do your four dark grey coming out. Then, what you want to do is, you want to, again, working from like outwards to inwards, as I like to do, you just want to do one dark grey, two black, one dark grey. Then the next row is entirely black. Then the next row, you want to do one uh, one black, one dark grey, two black. The next row is just a repeat of that, so one black, one dark grey, two black. Then the next row is just entirely black. Then the next row, you want to do three black, one dark grey. Next row is a repeat, three black, one dark grey. Next row is entirely black. Next row, one black, one dark grey, two black. Next row, one black, one dark grey, two black. Next row, entirely black. You can see it's not massively different from the uh, from the front arm, from the front arm, from the front of the arm, but you, it is different. Pause that if you have to. I'm going to move on to the other arm. So the other arm, again, positioned in the exact same place as the front of the arm, as you might imagine. You want to do your four dark grey coming outwards and then again from out to in you want to do one dark grey, two black, one dark grey, then an entire row of black, then one black, one dark grey, two black, then just a repeat of that row, one black, one dark grey, two black, then you want to do an entire row of black, then for the next row you want to do three black, one dark grey, then you want to repeat that row, three black, one dark grey, then you want to do an entire row of black, then, you want to do one black, one dark grey, two black. Then, you want to repeat that row, one black, one dark grey, two black. Then, you want to do an entire row of black. And I'm going to show you the arms, even though it's getting relatively dark. You can see where all of the detail is. Not that much detail. But I'll show you that again in the light, and then we'll move on to the sides. Alright, so they're the back of the arms. Not too complicated. Um, I did the second one slightly faster than the first, but just like with the same principle on the front of the arms, once you've got one, you've got the other. And failing that, you've always got eyes that you could use now to just deduce what I've done. It really isn't difficult whatsoever, so, you know, if necessary, pause there, figure it out, come back. And just to show you everything, there we go, that's the whole back. So once you have that, we're going to want to move on to the sides. So, I always like to start on the 
as you're looking at it like head on the left side but it's actually the right side if you're like point of view of the panda and um, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to do like the left column first like going up and then I'm going to do the right column just to make things easier you know so working completely up the left column going vertical one dark grey four black one two three four one dark grey one light grey the rest is white and uh, it should just come up to like at the bottom of the hand so one block under so that's the whole left column now we're doing the whole right one so the whole right one, one black, two dark grey, one black, three dark grey, the rest is white. There we go, nothing to it is there, you're just working with two rows, and that's what, like, 11 blocks. If my math is right, probably isn't, but there you go, that's the whole side of the leg. Now it's time to move on to the hand. So the hand, or the arm, first the hand, then the arm. The, uh... The bottom of the hand just wants to be filled in completely with dark grey, so it should look like that. You've just got the whole bottom filled in with dark grey, and the side, it should give us a little platform to work on with uh, dark grey on the side there. So, just like with the same principle as the legs, I'm going to do the left column first, go right to the top, and then I'm going to do the right column. So what you want to do, left column, one black, two dark grey. Then you want to do five black, one, two, three, ah, three, four, five. Then you want to do two dark grey, one black. Just to show you that there. Then what you want to do for the next column, you want to do five black, one, two, three, four, five. Then you want to do two dark grey. Then the rest wants to be black. Just go straight up to the top of the uh, top of the shoulder there. And then, speak of the top of the shoulder, you just want to fill in, coming in three blocks, the top of the shoulder just with black, like that. So, just coming in by three, you don't have to do any more because the head will cover the rest. But there you go, That's. Uh, let me just show you the entire side because the next one's going to be done quickly. Um, there you go, that's what the entire side looks like when it's all together. Now time to go and do the other side. Now the other side is extremely easy because just like with the arms, once you've done one side you've got the other side. Just look straight through and copy exactly what you did on the other side. So I'm not even looking at my plans, I haven't got it memorized or anything like that. I'm just simply looking over to the other side, seeing what I did, just copying the colours and, um, and that's all there is to it. So there you go, side of leg, just in case, pause that if you have to. Now we're going to do the arm. Just want to do the dark grey under the arm. Then I can see over there we did one black, two dark grey. Then we did black right all the way up to here. Then we did two dark grey and one black. And then the other side. The other side is relatively difficult to see, but I can remember what we did here. We did five, uh, five black, so that should have been four. Five, then we did two dark grey. You can see still, it's just a bit hard. And then we just did the rest, uh, rest black. So, for just for the instruction for the, like the closest part to the front of the arm, it's just five black, two dark grey, rest black. There we go. And again, just fill in the top of the shoulders a little bit. Just want to be three blocks in, just uh, just so it comes to the like edge of the torso there. And uh, that's the entire side done. I'll, I'll show you, even though I showed you the other side as well. There you, there you go. That's the entire edge of the torso. Entire edge of the torso. That's the entire side of uh, side of the statue is what I want. Is what I'm trying to say. Stumbling. There you go. And just to show you the front, there we there we are. All we have to do now is we have to do the head, and the head is going to be relatively easy. Should have little little to no trouble with it. It's not that complicated whatsoever. So let's start it, shall we? So once we're at this position, we've got the front done, we've got the back done, we've got the sides filled in. You want to add in the blocks to uh, build the foundation of the head, and those are situated up here. You want to come to the top of the original eight that you started building on. Build, building on, built on. Try to find the right word. And you just want to do eight white, like on top of the original eight. So the original eight of the torso, it doesn't span onto the arms at all. You just want those eight white built on top of what you have. And then, once you've got those, you want to bring it one row closer to you, still using the white. So you want to bring it one row closer to you. And then the next row, what you want to do, 
still coming, still bring it towards you. You want to do two pink in the middle of the row, and then the rest of the row wants to be white. And the reason that that one's different is because this is going to be the working row. Because as you can see, Minecraft heads overhang the front and the back of the body by two rows. Why? Don't know. I don't like it, but that's how it is. Uh, so that's what we've done. We've built the foundation for the face here. So, let's continue. What we want to do for the next row is working on the working on the most forward row, the one with the pink in it, you want to do two black on top of the pink, then you want to do light grey either side of the black, you want to do a single light grey on each end, and then you just want to fill the rest of the row in with white, like that. Then what you want to do for the next row, you want to do two black coming in towards the centre from each end, and then you want to fill the middle of the row in with light grey, like that. Then, what you want to do for the next row, is you want to do two white in the middle, then you want to fill the rest of the row in with black. Like that. Then, what you want to do for the next row, is you want to do two white in the middle of the row, then you want to do a single light grey on each end, and then you want to fill the rest of the row in with black. You see we've got his, uh, we've got his panda eyes in now. And then the next couple of rows are just going to be easier if I just just do them from left to right like I have done oh so many times in this statue. So the next row, you want to do one white, two light grey, three white, one light grey, one white. Next row wants to be two white, one light grey, rest white. Then the next row, what you want to do you want to do five white, one, two, three, four, five, one light grey, rest white. So just to show you everything, there we go, that's the whole face. I've got to cough it. I'll try to remember to cut that out because I know that my microphone makes a sound when you mute it, but there you go. That's the entire face, sorry if I forget. Um, nothing too complicated about it, you could probably make it from this little still image uh, if you were to pause the video right now. But, moving on, now that we've got the face, we've just got to build the rest of the head and then add in some of the 3D features to the uh, to the panda. So you want to come uh, to the back of where you started the head, so like this row of 8 white, and what you want to do, you want to extend it, like extend the white over to the back with white until it is overhanging the, uh, the body or the back, well still the body by one row, so all the way to the back overhang it by one just like that and since it's getting dark now I'm going to sleep and then I'm going to come back alright so before I slept we were working on the back of the head and we just extended the white one block over the back of the um, well the back of the back so what we want to do is the next row is going to be the working row since the back of the panda head is uh, slightly different than um, than just plain white so the next row like what you want to do is, you just want to do a single dark grey on each end, like coming towards you still, and then you just want to do black in the uh, in the entire middle. So that's what you want to have as your working row, and that should be the row that is the uh, second one that overhangs. There you go. Yep. So what you want to do for the next row is we're kind of... Um, I, I should mention, if, uh, if I just didn't... You, we're now like doing the entire back of the head, and then we're going to do the side of the head, and then we're going to do the 3D features. So, what we're going to do now is, we're just going to work on the back of the head. Like I've said like three times now, but anyway. Next row, you want to do a single white on each end, on top of the dark grey. Then you want to do one dark grey, coming in towards the centre. Then you want to fill the four middle blocks in with black, like that. And we're just going to be pyramiding this up. So, the next row, what you want to do... You want to do two white coming towards the center on top of the white and dark gray. Then you want to do a single dark gray and then black in the center. Then the next row, you just want to do dark gray on the uh, two middle blocks. And then the rest just wants to be white. Like that. So you can see how we've just kind of like pyramided it up there at the back. And all that's left to do at the back of the head, since that's all of the detail that's left, is we just want to do four rows of white. So one, two, three, four and just fill those in. I've just marked those out. One, two, three, and four. There we go. 
So that's the entire back of the head done now, and that's all of the detail that has to go in to the actual shape of the head. All we have to do now is we just have to turn it into a giant white cube. We just have to add in the faces and then fill them in. So I'm just turning it into a cube. You can see I've just put the sides in. And now I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill the uh, sides in with white. And since you don't really need to see this, I'm going to cut out quickly whilst I do it. Alright, so all I literally did was I turned the head into a giant cube and I filled both of the sides of the head in and the top of the head in with white. That's all I did. And that's all you have to do. And once you're at this point, all we have to do is add in some of the 3D features. So what you want to do, you want to come to the side of the head, either side, it doesn't matter. And you want to come to the back of the head. And you want to be on the top row. And you want to find the fourth row in coming forward. So one, that's the first one, two, three, four. And you just want to place a black there. And you want to do this. You just want to add that in. Because that's the ear. That's probably the best position you could see. And uh, you're just coming onto the head by two blocks, so that's just three, uh, three black blocks in total there for the rectangle, and then you've just got your little single one on the side. And you want to do the same thing on the other side in the same position, so you're at the back, you're on the top row, one, two, three, four, do the single one, three, three, and this is what it will look like. Well, you can't really see the shape that well from that position, but there you go. That's the other ear. Easy enough to do, doesn't need any explaining. So that's where, that's what that looks like from the front there. Now he has little ears. So the only other thing that you have to do, well there's two more things. The first thing you have to do, left from the two, you want to make the nose 3D and this is the nose. The two black blocks here and the light grey surrounding it. So there you go. You can see which blocks are raised. That's the nose. That's the ears. So that's what it looks like like that when it's all done when it's all 3d and we've just got one more thing to do after this we want to come to the back and these uh these black blocks here it's time to uh, it's time to make that 3d as well because this is the panda's tail uh what you want to do you want to bring out the bottom row by like two rows coming towards you so like the bottom row of black like the two you want to bring them two towards you and what you want to do, you kind of want to do a similar thing with the top row. The first row wants to be black, but the second row wants to be dark grey. So this is what it looks like from the side, like that. And this is what it looks like from like the back slash, slash overview, kind of a weird angle. There you go. But hopefully, that well, that is easy. You should be able to figure that out, no trouble. And uh, that's it. That's, uh, that's the panda done completely, after you've added in those finishing touches. And it's going to be dark soon, so I'm going to come back when it's light and then show you all of the panda. And there you have him in all of his glory. Quite a few people asked for the panda. And there he is, I think he turned out fairly well. Um, I mean, there could be a better colour match for the light grey on the white, but the closest thing that you would actually get to the proper thing is sandstone, and that looks ugly, so I decided to use the light grey. I mean, you could opt for just not doing any detailing of the white whatsoever, and just leave it plain. But that didn't look right, I tried that. But that's all of the panda together. Just, uh, just a couple of 3D portions to it, just adds a little bit of character to it. Makes it, um, just makes it look a little better. But it's pretty good looking anyway, I really do like the skin. Like I said uh, at the start of the video, there's quite a few good looking ones from the Beasts and Battle skin pack. But uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out anyway. I hope that the tutorial wasn't uh, wasn't overly rocky, I tried, to, oh, I tried to make these things as easy to follow as possible. But anyway, I hope it was in some sort of way useful to you. Thanks for watching, and see ya. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you should check out some of my other stuff. I've made plenty of pixel art, YouTubers, houses, tomahawks, tanks, the list goes on. And if you're interested in becoming a YouTube partner, hit up the link in the description.